Hi, Aries. Welcome back to my channel here at Bobby's Girl Tarot 444. I've got a message for you, Aries. This is about your person, one or the other here, but uh, this individual has got me a little in my head. I keep hearing uh, freestyling. So whatever that means for you, somebody like has got these skilled methods of doing things. They don't go by the guidelines. They, uh, they've got butterflies floating around in their head, like lots of different ideas. I also like heard um, the band Offspring, keep them separated. So somebody trying to keep you separated from your person, Aries, or you're trying to keep somebody separated, um, whatever that is, something with separation. Um, even flow, Pearl Jam. So if somebody listened to these bands, the Offspring, Pearl Jam, like from the early 90s, like maybe this is like an older person. Because I, I was trying to get clarity on this person. And, and what I got was a middle-aged, this person's middle-aged, anywhere from uh, 32 to 48 years old, okay, is what I'm hearing. So middle-aged, possibly a sports fan, okay, or they like watching sports now. I also see uh, life begins again. So uh, somebody's life getting ready to begin again. This person could be in jail or they could be going to jail or worried about going to jail and worried about being separated. Uh, I also had patient come out. So if this person's trying to be patient or somebody wants them to be patient or they could just be, I don't know, like some, a mental patient. I don't... Okay, so we into sports. This is person's like an extrovert, so... They like the, they like the nightlife. I like to boogie. Yeah, they like the party. They like the boogie. They like the nightlife. They like socializing. They like being in big groups. Okay, they also uh, those uh, the smash. What are they called? The smash bands. So for some reason, I'm hearing smash bands, or like those um those those pits or whatever they call where you jump on people. Um, mosh pits. So they like those mosh pit bands or going to those concerts. So this person's got hidden talents that had something to do with their skills that they freestyle. They use these freestyle methods and like they go by their own own rules. Person's very attractive. They're either a self-motivator or they're trying to motivate themselves or they're watching someone that's motivating them, possibly on social media. They're doing something on social media, something with computers or technology here. Uh, either an influencer or watching an influencer. Yeah, this person's an expert at what they do. Is this a stalker, Aries? Are you dealing with a stalker or is somebody stalking you? Let's get into it. This isn't going to be everyone, every Aries out there. It's not going to be all your messages, okay? So only take what resonates for you and your situation and leave the rest. Do, don't force this message to fit. If it's not for you, and to keep it moving, okay? So let's see. What is going on, Aries, with this person? Aries. All right, Aries. Quite a few. Love. Somebody's looking at the angel of love. Or somebody's wanting some love. Somebody's got their... Every little thing I do, you're on my mind. You're on my mind. You're on this person's mind. Okay. I'm also here in Belle Biv DeVoe, whatever that is. New beginning. Okay. That one wants to come out. What is this new beginning here? This could be, like I said, begin life again. New beginning. There's obstacles and challenges to overcome. Dang, we just did a hop, skip, and a jump, whatever that is. Like we went from zero to five. This is like somebody that's like fast. They like fast cars. We got a fast car. Tracy Chapman. Somebody listen to Tracy Chapman. Somebody can have like uh, braids in their hair. It's like they they jumped. They jumped from zero to five. That's like zero to 60 and 2.0. All right. Deception and envy. So somebody's envious of you or somebody's trying to deceive you. Somebody's trying to jump fast through these obstacles and challenges. In order to get to this new beginning. Private eyes are watching you. Private eyes are watching you. This person can have military background. Or they know somebody, uh, you know, that has military background. There's some these methods, these skilled methods here. What else is going on? 
with Aries person. Strategic, very strategic moves. Finances and material changes. Something with this person's hands too. This person may wear a lot of rings on their hands. They also could have like a sports ring. Like a, a champion, a getting champion or championship or if it's sports, like they're into that, the uh, like major sports. Something with this ring is sticking out here. But it's on the other finger. So this person could be divorced or they could be widowed or uh, they could be single. I don't since it's on the other hand. I also see this person could be journaling. They could be writing a lot, writing down their thoughts, writing down these strat strategies here. Something with this, what is this? It looks like a cat, it looks like a koala bear, So, but it also looks like a rat. Like it's got one tooth sticking out. Somebody's got something wrong with their tooth or, or their mouth here, something different about their teeth. In this compass, this person's good with directions. Like they're um, a navigator. This person's a good navigator. They also could be like lyrical, or um, they write music, or have some type of background talents to music. You're my obsession. Do you want from me? Okay, this person's obsessed. Uh, Aries, somebody's obsessed with you, or you're obsessed with somebody. Somebody could also be in the LGBTQIA community. It doesn't have to, but I have to give the message, okay? So it is what it is. Take it or leave it. So we got five, five. So fives could be significant. So this person's got two uh, separate obstacles and challenges to overcome. Two logs, too. Something with logs. This person could have a blog. Or, you know, this journaling has a, some type of attach, attachment to a blog. <clears throat> Maybe they're trying to affect my throat chakra now. They don't want me to talk about this. And those butterflies, it's like butterflies or dragonflies that's like in your head, like going this way. It's like this person's got ideas that they're very creative, very strategical, very methodical. Uh, ow very wise they they carry a lot of wisdom but they use their wisdom in uh, they don't use it in a i don't know i want to say conscience matter they don't use it in that way they use it for deception and envy like to get what they want out of situations here somebody's a, a name could start with an s or a z Somebody could also have a bird tattoo. Let's see. What else is about the Aries person here? Power, patience, conflict defeated, happiness. Is this somebody that's like powerful? Like somebody, yeah, patience coming out twice. Somebody wants you to be patient. Very wise, this wisdom card here. Also like a um, loyalty to their craft, whatever that means for somebody. Somebody's loyal to these, uh, if they are an expert and they have some type of military bout, uh, yeah, loyalty to their craft. There you go. Um, somebody is the expert and they have some type of military background. They're loyal to uh, whatever um, whatever they've been programmed. This is a person that's been programmed. Or they're into some type of programming. All right. And that's how they uh, deceive and envy people. All right. So we got, yeah, to fulfill their wishes. Ugh, way too many guys. Attachments, dark attachments, choices. Constantly thinking about these choices that they got. Oh, the endless possibilities. How can I confuse this person? Let me go in to think. 
They may meditate a lot. It's a whirlwind. They've got a whirlwind of an idea. Okay. That's what I heard. They got a whirlwind of an idea. All right. Keep it moving. Aries. <laughs> Aries. Ooh, this person could be going through karma right now. Or this person that got a lot of karma. What do we got? Balance. Change. Death. Endings. Something transforming here. We got Scorpio energy. I've had Scorpio come out. This uh, transformation cards come out quite a few times today already. Yin and Yang. It's like the other half. It's like the uh, the piece, the puzzle, putting the puzzle pieces. Some of, this is like a um yeah, a strategic. Somebody could be into puzzles. They like that. They like numbers. Was well, this you know something financial here? But they do it in a in an odd like weird manner. They're very methodical with their ways. They don't go by the rules. They've got their own set of rules. Let me write that down. Stalker vibes over here. So somebody could be 22 or 21. Somebody could have been born in 79 or 75. Rest the rejuvenate. Meditation. Thinking. Ugh, yeah. Break down. Tom Petty. What do you think? Can be Tom over here? This is a, a younger person. When I was looking up that offspring, keep me keep them separated. It was talking about the number 17. And it was like, you can't go to jail because you're a minor. Like, you're under age here. 17, 19, 21, 22. Like, this person's, like, younger. Okay? But they're very smart. Yeah, here. Let's try and confuse them here. They've got many different choices. I've done this before, maybe seven times. I'm Henry the Eighth. I am Henry the Eighth. I am. I am. I've been married to the widow next door. She's been married seven times before. I don't know what that means for somebody. So someone that's been married, this divorced. This could be a younger person, or this could be somebody's child. Somebody's name could be Henry. Somebody's name could be Tom. Mercury. That's the god of wars. Interesting. Give me a couple more for Aries. What do they need to know about this person? Aries. I think this is like the weirdest reading I've done so far. Using their intuition. It's like a sixth sense for this person. There's 40. I said, what, 30? Didn't I say 32 to 48? I got a nine. Nine, nine, five, five, seven, seven. Five, seven, nine. So July 5th. July 9th, September 5th, something could have happened yesterday on 9-9 during the, uh, the portal, the full moon. Suffering in silence. This person's suffering. Why? Because they can't get their wishes fulfilled. Movement choices and decisions, the way they move, because it's deceiving, because they do it in like a an uncanny matter or an uncanny way. Deuces. Somebody says deuces. Moving on. Somebody could see you moving on. Or you're moving on from this person or the, they need to move on. World. It's world. World wide web. Travel. Just a traveler. Somebody has traveled the world. Where they've been to a lot of places. So they, they've been to a lot of places. They've seen a lot of different things. 
so they can be very strategical, very methodical as to, you know, how they can manipulate by using like military background by doing this to, to get their way. Yet they're suffering in silence because they may get their way temporarily, but I don't know, something's got this person caught or caught up and they keep trying to think of new ways, new ideas. It's like if they're trying to trap you, like they can't think of a way to trap you because every time they get caught. So then they have to go back to zero. They'll get halfway there to the five mark, you know, zero to 60, like being very fast with this. And then they get go back to zero again, start all over. Because like, damn. <laughs> Sorry. But they're like, damn, that ain't going to work. Now I got to think of something else. Now I got to choose a different door. A union? Yeah, keep them separated. So there's somebody working against you. Somebody's working against you or something. somebody's working against your person here. Patience, a lot of patience, a lot of planning. Authority. I fight authority, authority always wins. Whether you're the authority figure, Aries, because this is you. Peas in a pod. Okay, destiny, intuition. Well, it feels like this is destiny. Is this is their fate. Or they're worried about destiny and fate. They're worried about, you know, beginning life again. Changing their ways. Transforming. Because they can't get one over. I don't know. I, I got. Let's get some more information here. This, uh, this freestyle is over here. Okay, what's going on? Successfully overcoming a problem. Ear, ill ear. Something is going on with somebody's ears. Ringing in the ears, or something behind. Something behind the ear. What is this? Like a somebody wear an earpiece, or like some type of a. Uh, yeah, some kind of ear, they got headphones or earphones or earpiece that they have in their ear. Okay, a period of ear health, ear, <laughs> ill health and depression, if I could even talk, right? Uh, I, I was also picking up this person may have difficulties with like reading too. I mean, they can write good, but like reading is, is hard for them to fly on the wall. Uh, Pink Floyd. We don't need no education. Just a brick in the wall. But I'm here fly on the wall like somebody's like listening. Th that ear listening. So somebody's listening here. There's a listener. It's like somebody's like somebody's like somebody's mouth, like something's going in with their, their teeth. Like I said, there's teeth in their mouth here, like they're cringing or uh, something with their facial expressions here too. Somebody's eyes are like bulging out. I don't know, like, yo, unbelievable. I don't know what. Uh, Aries, are you unbelievable? Or does this person feel like that? Or do you feel like the, about that, you know, this, this person's unbelievable as the way that they do uh, or the way they move? Uh, let's see. Martini. Martin? Martin or Martini? What is that? I mean, maybe drinking those, take care, or there will be loss of material wealth. Wealth. I don't know where wealth came from. Wealth. So it's a shark. Shark bait. So somebody, <clears throat> somebody using you as bait, or somebody's using this person as bait. Tough. The toughness. Tough skin. Leather, something with leather, leather skin, leather tight. All right, so take care or there'll be a loss of material wealth over here, okay? Because you got a shark around you and there's something going on with their teeth. They had a crooked tooth or a broken tooth or um, March. Something could have happened in March. 
you know, somebody not unha you know, unhappy or something. Maybe somebody took a loss in March here of material wealth. Like a, a dip in their finances here. All right, we got forces working against you. So you do have forces working against you. Something needs to be cut out. Aries, you're this person. Uh, romance, celebration, party, fan. Like, uh, whether this person is a partier and, you know, is, uh, likes the social life here, uh, is very, um, attracts a lot of people, very attractive and uh, has a lot of followers, okay? Somebody's working against you here. This is like a, they do a lot of performing or they do something where they perform with these hidden talents that attracts a lot of people. And there's a lot of like a lot of communicating back and forth. They get a lot of attention. But somebody's working against a connection to keep them separated. Spilled. Something spilled. Or someone, you know, is it like, <clears throat> they don't hold on to their drinks. If they're drinking martinis, they, they spill their drinks a lot. They could be nervous. They shake a, a little bit here. Um, what else is going on here for Aries? Purse. In reverse, though. Pay attention to your finances. I want to come in reverse and you're working on your finances Aries or you've protected your finances somehow some type of security around that like secure or security okay let's see what else is like stepping into a new experience this could be that new beginning here so if somebody's getting out of jail also, like, wherever this person was, Aries, if this is you or this is person, uh, you know, nothing was growing where they were at. I'm getting this person getting out of jail, though. You know, coming, like, from a dark spot, you know, where nothing has grown. They've been confined and, 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 and uh, you know, stuck in a cage here. So somebody's been stuck in a cage, like, uh, the cage is being broken open. Uh, something also with tic-tac-toe moves over here, X's and O's. This could be a lot of hugs and kisses, too. Uh, it's like somebody trying to win playing a game. Like, the, I don't know, X marks a spot for someone over here, too. Oh, geez. Muddled or unclear thinking. Someone wants to keep you confused. Or you have been confused. Climbing towards success. So someone wants you to keep you confused in order to keep you from uh, getting up the ladder to success here. And, and, you know, keep you from stepping into a new experience. Instead of, you know, that even flow. It's like they're trying to cause some type of uh, challenges for you. Put blocks in your way here. Okay. Aries, there you are. A stubborn, aggressive person. A ram. I don't know if this is you, Aries, or you're dealing with another Aries. Aries come up twice. Somebody could be a double Aries. Give me a couple more Aries. You should accept valid criticism over here. So you may want to criticize you. You know, everybody's got an opinion, guys. Okay? It's okay to accept valid criticism. This person may have ideas for you. I, you know, want you to, somebody wants you to work with them. Let's see. There's some butterflies again. A change for the better. It says changes. I got three, now three fives out here for change. And then we have uh, transformation. Five changes. In stages, though. It's, it's in different stages, like five, seven, thirteen. Five, seven, nine, thirteen. Uh, something with uh, like odd numbers too, or odd the oddness of the situation here. Okay. 
and I'm noticing it like this pattern here at nines. I don't have I got fives, nine, seven, seven. I mean, I got a couple out of out of all these cards on this uh, that I've got out here. Two are even three are even numbers. Everything else is odd. Something with odd, odd numbers. This person's doing everything in an, an odd manner, an odd way, or an odd fashion. You will be playing a different role with the hats here. Love, deep affection, and caring. So you may be focused on love. You're playing a different role. You could be loving yourself. Or there's just somebody that wants to work with you and play a different role. Somebody wanting to change, like showing, showing you that they can change. Um, you know, maybe this is a past situation. I don't know, guys. It's going to be different for all of you. I just got a lot of messages coming out. This is like <clears throat> Method Man. I kept hearing Method Man. Good luck is on your side. Horseshoes could be significant, too. Doing something risky or take a chance. Somebody wants you to take a risk, take a chance. But take a chance on me. No. Getting together with friends. It could be a friend of yours. Somebody that you know through a friend. Career. Yeah, career related. Possibly love related too. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's get you a few more cards here on this person. This person's got me. In your head. This is like zombie energy over here. If you're dealing with a zombie, I'm going to write that zombie. This is like zombie. Uh, what is that? The cranberries? Somebody could like to eat cranberries. When you're drinking cranberry juice, you know, cleaning out their uh, urinary tract over here. Maybe they're like, um, they got a kidney infection or something with somebody's kidneys is going on. Uh, okay. Aries. What do they need to know right now? What advice do you have, Aries? All right, rituals. All right, study yourself with simple rituals. Do the dishes, fold the laundry, water the plants, make a cup of tea. Let wisdom sneak up on you. It's this patience and, and planning and using their intuition here. This person feels like you balance them out. I mean, this is like, <laughs> I'm good. What I'm hearing is good and evil. You take that as it resonates because we all have both masculine and feminine. We all have a light side and a dark side to us. So in this instance, this person feels like you are the light side and they are the dark side and you balance each other out and they feel that some way you can help each other. More butterflies. Butterflies, cranberries, now grapes, something with grapes. Somebody could be drinking like mint, mint tea, peppermint tea. Okay. All right, so we got success coming out. Today is a really good day. You're in the flow, that even flow over here. Problems are solved quickly and easily. Helpful people show up for you and unexpected gifts fall into your lap. So you could be getting a gift. Could be getting some help if you've been asking for help. Or maybe it's just working towards success, feeling successful. From a friend. You got a friend in me. These birds of a feather flock together. All right. Whatever that means for you, Aries. It's going to be a stalker, though. We've got stalker vibes over here. Did I even write that down? Stalker vibes? I'm going to write that down. Huh. Okay, Aries. What else do I need to know? Aries. <laughs> oh, Aries. Change. All right, I've got... One, two, four, four cards on change now. 
A resistance to change is a resistance to life itself. Open your heart and mind to new beginnings. That's what it's saying right now. So you and this person, open your mind. You know, be optimistic here. Keep an open mind about this movement or choices or decisions that you're going to be making here. And plan ahead because uh, you may be a boss. This person may also be a boss or in some type of authority position. So I mean like when two collide. You get what I'm saying? When two bosses collide and they both have con they both want control. So there's like a I got to be a balance between control between both of you. All right. All right, decision. <laughs> Weighing it up, evening it out. Even the score is a, I don't know what that means for someone but somebody's like evening the score out. So, uh, you know, one's not taking more weight than the other one is, okay? Equal on both sides. Sometimes the best decision is no decision at all. Somebody may not want to make a decision. You may not want to make a decision. Maybe there's some type of pressure. Under pressure, pressing down on me, pressing down on you. Okay. Somebody may listen to Freddie Mercury. All right, so we've got possibility. Focus your attention on what could go right. When you learn to imagine the best case scenario, you get to enjoy the experience twice. This is that new beginning. You get to experience it, you know, over and over again because it's all in their head. Yeah, the zombie in your head. So you're dealing with somebody that's in their head. You're dealing with an air sign over here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, I mean, that is your other opposite sign, right? Or your match sign. So, and it's not, it doesn't have to be. They could just have that in their chart. Libra's here. So, we've got sovereign, okay? You are the queen of your life. Treat yourself like royalty, queen or king. We've got one out here. It's like two kings going up against each other. Two queens going up against each other, a king and a queen going up against each other. Also, somebody like fighting over who wears the crown and who doesn't wear the crown, or if both of you can wear the crown. This is like a battle of the wits over here. I should, I should write that down, battle of the wits. <laughs> oh my gosh, this person's funny. This person's very funny. All right, energy. Stop trying to please everyone. Everyone is a whole lot of people. It's time to protect your energy. Okay, yeah, everyone is a lot of people. Seven billion people on this planet. You're going to please everybody. You're going to be wasting your time. You're going to be draining your energy out here. Worry about protecting your energy. Who deserves your energy? Who doesn't? And vice versa, this person. This person's sitting here watching you with this cup of coffee or cup of hot cocoa. It's like they, they've fallen in love right here. Whatever you did to this person right here, that's what you did. Open their heart in a, <laughs> a very um, non-traditional way. Yeah, this person was like this. Sneaky. Okay, one more. One more for Aries. All right, choices. You got to choose wisely in choices. Worry less about making the right choice and more about being strong enough to handle any outcome. All right, so uh, if you're not doing that already, don't worry about making the wrong choice. Just do what's best for you. Choose wisely. What's going to be beneficial? Balanced. Beneficial for you beneficial for the person if this is someone that you're planning on partnering with if this is your romantic partner here your relationship balancing that out <sighs> waiting for uh, waiting for this person patience and waiting trust someone's trying to recover move somebody could need to move a long walk is good for the soul get outside and allow mother nature to lift your spirits so Somebody needs to make a move or somebody may need to move. 
Okay. Get a little bit more information for you, Aries. Aries, what do they need to know about this person? Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and awareness. This person wants to grow with you. Like they want to learn from you. They feel like watching you. They're learning from you. They're learning. Uh, they're learning different. They're learning how to love. Maybe they didn't love in the past, okay? Because they're too busy being a a, a soldier. I, I, maybe they are a soldier. I don't know. They had some type of military background, to where, or they were in some type of society where they had certain strict rules to go by, okay? Certain laws, so, where there was no gui no guidelines, okay? Uh, I'm. It was done in a methodical way, a certain way, and they had to follow the certain way. They couldn't buy, go by other guidelines. It wasn't following society's rules. It's following a certain set of rules. This is an authority figure. They could be like the leader, the leader of the pack, and now she's gone, huh? the leader of the pack. Okay. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity. Uh, approach. Yeah, somebody's going to approach you. Okay, appreciate it. So working through grief here, things that you no longer have in order to, uh, uh, you know, and accept that and in order to be able to grow into this new beginning. So working through grief, whatever you've lost, time, money, energy, uh, people, places, things, whatever that is for you. Going through those different stages. And we got honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I could expect it from myself. This per person could be recognizing that is that they, they need to be honest and true to themselves here. Okay, because they don't have people around them that can be honest with them. Leading the pack over here. And uh, the pack is not honest. They're not loyal. Somebody in their pack was this uh, rat that I was picking up over here. Somebody's got a rat in their pack. A pack of rats. Pack of rats? A rat pack? A rat pack. Is that even a thing? What's a rat pack? I'm going to have to look that one up. I'm curious. <laughs> what is a... Uh, what is a rat pack? I'm just going to say. A group of five friends and co-performers prominent in the entertainment industries of Hollywood and Las Vegas. In 50s and 60s, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Joey Bishop, and Peter Lawford made several movies together in Ocean's Eleven. So Ocean's Eleven could be significant here. That movie Ocean's Eleven... This is like the Hangout, the Rat Pack. These appearances, making appearances in the Rat Pack. Let's see. What's the Urban Dictionary say? Someone who is less than second-class citizen, less than a degenerate, someone who flakes on any event. This is a flaker. So you got a flake? Okay. Well, there you go. A person who collects or, you know, a rat, uh, a pack rat, this person could have a lot that they need to get rid of. They got a lot of baggage here that they need to let go of. My right ear just kind of went deaf too. So something with the ears and hearing and somebody listening. This person's not happy now, but needs to focus on their happiness and want to come in reverse. Where that being happy is on the right path. And I think that's what this person is trying to focus on. You know, what's going to make me happy, especially if there's a, a chance at beginning life again or they're getting out of jail. They're able to have a new opportunity to start over, start on a clean slate from scratch, right? So, yeah, sorry guys. I like to look up uh, new information too. Uh, regret not knowing that you can't change the past and accepting challenges are the best way to learn. So, 
uh, you know, working through adversity and letting go of re regrets and uh, grief and growing from the situation, being honest with himself. This is more or less it is what it is. I can't change anything that's already happened, but I can also grow and I can try and do better and I can focus on what makes me happy. Now, you know, uh, this playfulness energy is here too, having fun, okay, and enjoyment out of life and, you know, especially don't know how much time this person has spent. You know, whether they've been confined or they've been suffering here, uh, you know, in the in that rat pack, rat pack, <laughs> or with these rats. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's like, I don't know how much time I have left. I'm going to enjoy my life, okay? And this is, I'm going to do something better for myself. I'm going to do something different. They could be watching you on social media or they're watching an authority figure on social media, but... <sighs> I talk, 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 you know? Okay, yeah, working on courage, finding their strengths to face fear with confidence, being more confident in themselves, building their confidence, raising their self-esteem. All right, because I kind of want to come, want to come in reverse or sideways here, but I'm going to take it upright because I feel like this person is making, you know, um, they're trying to do better, make better judgment calls in their life. Okay, better choices, choosing more wisely here, but. They're watching you. Private eyes. This could be a private eye. They got to be a PI detective. Abundance. I am a limit, limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire. This is, yeah, they want to get what they want. They have strategic ways of doing it though. Or at least in the past they did. One more. And I got to keep it moving. Love, yeah, they're seeing love. Practice seeing the, the good in all things here. So love and happiness and finding their purpose. I know what I'm here to do. So now this person knows what they're here to do or they want to know what they're here to do. They want to learn, right? So let's see, uh, what is this person hiding? What is their hidden truth? They want to tell Aries or Aries wants to tell this person. All right. Aries. I don't react when people mention you. So they're pretending like they don't know you or don't know anything about you. It's time for me to heal now. Okay. And they want you. They want you to want me. Every time I see that song or yeah, every time I see that card, I hear that song. I regret lying to you. So this person lied to you. Maybe lied about their authority or their position or what they do. Okay. Um, some kind of lie is here told. You lie about their feelings, all right? Hiding that mask. The timing wasn't right for us, okay? So the timing wasn't right. The person wasn't ready. They weren't ready for love. They were too busy working on other things with the rat pack, right? Uh, they're starting to understand your connection. They're trying to learn from you by watching you. Possibly they hide behind material things. Because it's all about, you know, money, finances, you know, it's a, uh, it's going for the gold, whatever that means for you. Because like I said, this person could be into sports, these, uh, the rings here, or something with the ring or the ring leader is involved here. So it's like this person had to follow, had to be the leader or they had to uh, do it a certain way in order to stay in the group. I don't know, whatever that means for you. In order to be included in this rat pack, like be a part of this group, they had to be strategic in how they did things. I wish things could be different. One more. I remember every detail of that day, whatever that day was for you. First day you met, last day you talked, I don't know. A special day, they couldn't let you get close to them, so this person couldn't let, they couldn't be vulnerable with you because they had other things going on. They could be caught up right now. Maybe they're in jail. Maybe they're not. I don't know. Let's get you a couple signs here and see who this who could be dealing with, Aries. Who could Aries be dealing with? And what advice do they need to know right now? Aries. Maybe these videos just keep in longer and longer. Work through your fears, Scorpio. A new romantic cycle begins. Aries, you could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. So, it's got... New moon in Pisces, so we're in the Pisces, um, this was the Pisces moon, full moon, 
where the full moon was in Pisces here. So we're uh, meditating, com contemplating, um, resting and rejuvenating here, rejuvenation, rejuvenating, and also releasing, you know, um, letting go, letting, letting out, having courage, letting out your tears, having a good cry, you know, let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Can't hold it back anymore. You know, this frozen heart is melted is what I'm hearing. So um, we've got confidence is your key to success. And Leo, Leo, Libra, Pisces, Scorpio. That's four signs in a row that came out. That's so weird. So far in these readings, I've done all signs that came out the first four cards. Adjustments are required. Lots of changes. Ch -ch changes. Aries, there you are. It's time to take action. Make a move. Take action and make a move. You or this person. And we've got a fiery climax approaches Aries again. Be bold and make the first move. Move. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Somebody have like ties to Madagascar. Okay. Let me get some advice on this new romantic cycle here. It's beginning for you, Aries. Lots of rams. I got three rams out here. Libra a couple times. Scorpio, Pisces, Leo. All right. What advice do you have for Aries, please? And we've got let your friends help you. Ask for and, and support. Accept support from others. We have religious factors are involved. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Whether there was religious factors involved here, or there's some type of like set uh, con conformed um, guidelines that they had to go by here. We got flirt, some type of conformity. I guess that's what you say, like a, a certain society that this person was dealing with. We got uh, flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. So forgive and uh, learn and grow from these experiences here. And the same to let go of control issues. Like I said, that you know, authority figure, you're an authority figure, Aries. This person could be an authority figure and it's finding the balance here. It's not who's going to wear the crown. It's can you both uh, wear the crown together and balance each other out, right? <clears throat> All right, work out your differences. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. There's passion here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So uh, dip into your passions. It's time to disconnect from the world. And there is a lot of attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So uh, love yourself first. Your love respect makes you more romantically attractive. This person wants to kiss or they like to kiss. It is what it is. Or they're waiting for that. They're yearning for a kiss. And you like your lips. All right. Whatever. Aries, that's the messages I have for you. Hopefully this uh, this reading resonated for you. And if it did, like, comment, share, subscribe. I do appreciate all your love and support for my channel. And um, <clears throat> I thank you. You have a wonderful Saturday. Take care and good luck.